Thank you for joining us. As you know, a lot of students need financial aid, and there are numerous reasons why some students lose their financial aid and need to appeal to reclaim it. The goal of this video is to help you understand the appeal process, stay in compliance with the policies and procedures of financial aid, and become a better prepared student. We want you to succeed, to achieve your educational goal and move on to the next stage of your life. Our campus offers many student support services, and they've worked wonders for hundreds of thousands of students because we always consider your individual circumstances. While you're watching, pause the video and take notes. Pay close attention to the Did You Know portions. These will be the quiz questions you will need to answer at the end of the video. We want you to commit right here, right now, to reclaiming your educational journey. Did you know? Academic success requires personal ownership of your work, your schedule, your progress, and yes, your grades. Don't blame other people for bad grades or other missteps. And although your discipline and initiative are vital to that journey, you can always count on the support of caring and knowledgeable professionals eager to help you. There are lots of rules and regulations to remain eligible for financial aid. We've summarized the most common ones in our terms of agreement, which may seem endless, but it's really just this long. You can read the terms of agreement online in Reg E. After reading it, you need to click the Accept button so we know you've reviewed this vital information. But did you know? You only need to do this process once and it's valid for all colleges in the San Diego Community College District. So you've qualified and received your financial aid. Congratulations, but there's still work to be done to keep it. That's where SAP becomes important, satisfactory academic progress. If you fail to meet SAP, you will be disqualified and you will not be eligible to receive financial aid. Did you know? There are three main components to the SAP policy. Completion rate, cumulative grade point average, and total units attempted. To be in good standing, you must complete at least 67% of the classes you enroll in, including all classes from the San Diego Community College District and any transfer units accepted by the district. You must also maintain an overall GPA of 2.0 or higher. The GPA requirement applies only to classes in the district. And finally, to meet SAP standards, you need to have attempted 90 units or less. This includes all classes from the district and any transfer units accepted by the district. So remember, withdrawing from or failing classes puts you at risk of being disqualified from financial aid. If you've already earned a bachelor's degree or higher, you'll need to submit an appeal to qualify for financial aid. Every semester, the Financial Aid Office sets a census or freeze date to determine the enrollment level students will be paid for that semester. Did you know? The freeze date for each semester is on the Financial Aid website, titled Payment Dates. It's critical that you enroll in all your classes by the semester freeze date because classes added after the freeze date will not be counted toward your enrollment level and will not be used to determine your financial aid payment. If you qualify for a Pell Grant or a subsidized loan, you need to know the limits for these avenues of financial aid. A full Pell Grant distribution is given to a full-time student who enrolls for two semesters. As long as you continue to make academic progress, as per the SAP guidelines, and transfer to a four-year university within a reasonable time, you should have enough lifetime Pell Grant eligibility to complete a bachelor's degree. But if you're taking basic skills courses or classes outside your major, or if you're withdrawing, failing, or repeating classes while receiving a Pell Grant, you are losing part of your lifetime eligibility. 
Subsidized direct loans also have limited eligibility. If you were following a two-year associate degree program, you have three years of subsidized loan eligibility. After that, you can't receive subsidized loans unless you transfer and enter a four-year degree program. Did you know? Because your lifetime limits for a Pell Grant or subsidized loan will change each year, it is highly recommended that you review your lifetime status at least once a year on the student NSLDS website. After this video portion is complete, you will meet with a counselor to create an educational plan to support your financial aid appeal. Although faculty and staff are here to help you, taking personal responsibility is critical in your academic journey. Keep track of your GPA, review the syllabi for your classes, meet deadlines for assignments, be proactive, plan ahead, follow your educational plan, and yes, utilize the many resources available to get your questions answered. Did you know? All instructors are required to provide office hours. Take advantage of this time to get one-on-one -on -one assistance. Budgeting enough time for all of your homework is the single most important part of student success. Did you know? Every hour of class requires about two hours of homework, and for science and math classes, it's about three hours for each hour of class time. So if you're taking a three-unit course, you'll be in class three hours a week, and you'll want to budget six to seven hours of homework for that one class every week. If you have six units, it's six hours of class time and 12 to 14 hours of homework, and so on. So you can see a 12-unit class load is really like having a full-time job. We recommend you back time your schedule, starting with when you need to be somewhere, like a class time. Add in things like driving, parking, any meetings you may have, socializing, and just everyday life. So you account for everything you need to do after finishing your homework, but start by allowing the proper amount of time to get your homework done right. There are so many reasons why you might find yourself sitting in this workshop today, and some of you might be coming to the conclusion that you need additional resources. Did you know? City College offers a variety of personal growth classes that can help you stay on track. Personal Growth 120 focuses on college success and lifelong learning. 130 is an exploration of your career and life planning 
and Personal Growth 140 concentrates on a variety of life skills and personal adjustment. The classes are fun and engaging, and they're helpful no matter what situation you're in. Talk to a counselor for more information. A personal growth class, it helps you to further explore who you are and to discover things about yourself that perhaps you didn't know. So that's why I would recommend the class, because it helps you grow on a personal level and on an academic level as well. You're almost finished with the video and one step closer to filing your appeal. You may want clarification of what that process looks like. First, you should complete the appeal form and then attach the following documents. A copy of your successful completion of the quiz that will follow this video, a copy of your comprehensive or two-semester educational plan. Did you know? You must be enrolled in classes for next semester and those classes must be reflected in the educational plan in order for your appeal to be considered. Keep that in mind. And lastly, you need to write a letter outlining the basis for your appeal. You also need to supply any other supporting documentation you have. It's helpful to be as detailed as possible in your letter by explaining what your situation was, what you're doing differently now, and what resources you have in place in case any unforeseen problems arise in the future. If you've made a mistake and lost your financial aid, we can't fix that mistake, but we can help you with your appeal. We strongly urge you to continue your schooling as we work together to keep you moving toward your educational goals and to help you regain your financial aid. Yeah.